I found this video of when I went to the School of Identity and Lifestyle. Pete Cabrera Jr. teaches it, and at the time, Paul Brown was a was a teacher there as, as well, and he's actually gone on to do other things, and my friend Matthew is in the video, Matthew Lanty. He's on Facebook, and uh, I'll tag him in it, and he was one of the guys I went to the school with back in 2016, and it was it was so life-changing. The school was was amazing, as any other students would know that the School of Identity and Lifestyle just breaks a lot of wrong believing, a lot of wrong teaching off of you, and really shows you how to live like a son. So check out this video of Pete praying over Matt, Matthew's eyes, and Pete said something in that video that kind of stuck out to me. Just the fact that you can believe that you can be free is your spirit man rising up because your carnal nature says this is the way it is and this is the way it's always gonna be. But don't believe that. Don't believe that. Don't take that as your truth. Don't let what's true in this reality trump the truth because the truth says you've been set free and the truth says he's took it all on the cross and by his stripes you're healed. So be encouraged told me and my wife that, you know, he needs glasses, he can't see. I'm like, whatever. All right, so I went to my sister's house and, you know, I said, hey, son, come here. And he's like, yeah. I said, can you see? And he's like, yeah, I can see. Right, and it was like from here to there, so I pick up a remote. And I go, what's this? And he goes, and I'm like, really? Like, you can't see it? You know, it was that close. And he couldn't see it, so I had to walk close to him, and then he's like, oh, it's a remote. And I'm like, no way. So then I, I looked for a little shoe. Disney was a baby. And I picked up her shoe and showed it to him. And he couldn't see it. Right? And I said, nah, heck no. Right? So I prayed over him. And he started seeing like immediately. So then when we're driving, it was nighttime. We're driving to my house. And I remember him saying, so that's what those are. The, the street lights at night, he didn't know they were street lights because it was oh, so blurry. Wow. She's like, so that's what they are. Wow. Right? So then I took him to the teacher, I mean, to the eye doctor, because we took him, because, you know, my wife was like, no, we gotta make sure. And he has 20 20 vision, man. Wow. Now, now, now. Thank you. I'll wear contacts. I don't know if you guys know that. No. Right? I've been praying over my eyes for years. Right? I don't know how it's working. I don't know how God does it. My daughter, obviously, you see her wearing glasses. But I saw it in my son. And that's where I get my hope from. I'm like, how the heck? Yeah. You know, and I put my contacts in one at a time every morning, like, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Right? So, I hear you, but I believe for you, bro. It's not about me. It's about you. It's about him. You know? So, Father, I thank you for this amazing man. Thank you, Lord. Just the fact that he can say, I don't want these no more. We know it's... You. Yeah. He has a carnal man, he's like, nah, I'm gonna die with these on. <laughs> oh Lord, I thank you for that. Lord. I just speak over his eyes and command his eyes to be restored. Yes. Be restored yes. Be healed. His vision be restored 100 percent Yes. I just pray over his eyes, Lord. I pray over his his family. Over everything that he is, Lord God. Over whether he have a business, whether he have a dream, whatever he may have, Lord God, in the physical. We just speak your spiritual words faith, Lord God, which is you, and of favor and of abundance. Thank you, Thank you Father. Long life, no sickness. Preach the gospel. Preach and teach the kingdom of God. You live a long life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, hey, did he get healed? Does he still wear glasses? Does Pete still wear contacts? And as far as I know right now, Matthew still wears glasses and Pete still wears contacts as far as I know. But my eyes are healed. And at that time, I wore contacts. And I was just believing God. I was believing God for whole vision, believing that he paid for it at the cross and he, by his stripes, we we're healed. Just believe in this possible because all things are possible with God. And I just had one day where I just said, Lord, 
I said, I'm not gonna put these on anymore. I'm just gonna believe. And I took, you know, there were, they, I took those contacts and I, I, I never put them on again. I never laid contacts in my eyes again. And it was like, at first, my eyesight was blurry. It was at first, you know, I felt like I needed them. And it just seemed like as more time passed by, I could see better and better and better. And so, here I am today, no contacts. You know, every now and then I'll, I'll wear glasses, like if I wanna see the TV really, really clear. But as far as contacts and having to function like that, nope, no more. So just be encouraged. Be encouraged and believe. Believe the word. Believe 2 Corinthians 5.17, that if anyone, if anyone is in Christ, all things pass away. Behold, all things become new. And that's what anything, man, that's what, that's what if you messed up in a sexual thing and you got yourself herpes or STD of any kind, like AIDS or anything like that, like that could be healed. God could just take that away from you. Especially if you wish you'd have never done it. If you, if you just said, Lord, that's not me. I wish if I could turn back time, I would take that back. If that's the case, man, that's repentance, man. That's turning from it. That's just saying, Lord, that's not me. I don't want that anymore. Man, God can work with that. He can just take that from you in an instant. And he can, and he wants to. So just be encouraged, guys. I love you.